Hello friends, this is Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. This is actually a marketplace video where I will be showing you journals that are listed in the marketplace, but I wanted to show you quickly at the beginning my new collage sheets that are in my shop. These are vintage mail envelope collage sheets and there's three pages, three sizes, but each, each one is different. So here's the big size, three to a page. And I tried to make it like we were collaging on it. So a little piece of worn, torn paper, an image, and some digital stitching. And I thought they would be great to cut out. Here's a page of six to cut out. Just vintage theme, like here's lions, pansies, Victorian fan, all different things. And then if you want them small, there's uh, 12 to a page here. Like there's a beetle. A little girl, a chipmunk, a butterfly, some cherry blossoms. So these are available digitally or printed on cardstock and shipped to you. And I will put the link to this in the description box below if you're interested. Now let's get on to the marketplace journals. I have a box of journals here from Vicki Treister. And I am really excited to share them with you. All right, let's get into them. Now this one feels really good. You could tell even before I unpacked it. It's a fabric covered. I think this fabric is called Batik, maybe. I'm not exactly sure if you guys could let me know exactly what this fabric is in the comments below. I know it's kind of a popular type of fabric, but I don't know why it's called that or anything, but this is purple. It has lace. It's fairly chunky. There's two signatures with a purple tie. It feels really good. I wish you could feel it. It's, it's amazing. All right, so we have a fabric pocket on the inside. I wish I knew what she lined this with. It's just, it's so like plush. All right. So we have like embossed papers, little envelopes, and things that you can tuck little things in. And this should be her paper about it. It's called A Passion for Purple 6x9, 88 pages. So we'll just kind of flip through it that is a beautiful tag i think it it feels like it's a decoupaged napkin it looks like it too that is beautiful Good altered guest check that flips up there you're gonna hear some noise in the background it's president's day the boys are not in school look at that cute little charm and they're out there making a ruckus there's coffee dyed paper tracing paper doilies beautiful I just there's another little clipped on charm look at that these pull out little ledger tags this is a beautiful journal that's cute I need to buy that die <laughs> I see it around and I think wow that is just really great for junk journals I tried to buy something like it and I don't think I bought the right thing doesn't quite look like it's the right one. There's another decoupaged tag there. Lots of room for writing, music paper. That looks like it might be in German. I'm not sure. It's not in English. Lots of room to make it your own, but um, still a lot started for you. So if you only wanted to write and didn't want to add anything, I believe that there's enough here to get you going. But if you wanted to add stuff, there's room to add stuff as well. So absolutely, look at that paper. So pretty. I wonder what kind of paper that is. It's like, it's almost like vellum. It's not vellum. It's too thick to be vellum, but it's not your typical paper either. Maybe she printed it because it, I don't know. It's beautiful absolutely beautiful there's a lot of the same uh, types of things throughout the journal which is awesome it gives it a very cohesive look and I really like that I love these little file folders I like to tuck little mini pieces of ephemera like from my ephemera packs I like to tuck them in there and then you can use them throughout the journal when you need a little piece or bit. Sometimes I take my boys to the indoor playground in town and I'll bring my junk journal and just a little bag with some minimal supplies and I'll work on my journal there. And it's nice to just have a few things tucked away that you can use. Okay, this feels thick, so 
she added a bunch of extras in here some tags and a card that you can use that is a beautiful envelope beautiful so I love this journal. If I was looking for, I, I have enough journals to use right now, but if I was looking for a new journal, I would buy this one because this is exactly what I like. So beautiful, Vicki. So this is a passion for purple. Let's see. She sent more. It's a, one of those long boxes. There's one more in here. All right. Ooh, look at this. Looks like it was made from denim. Look at that spine, the little dangle. Okay, so there's also a little bag here that looks like we have some extra goodies, like a little booklet, a little flip that you can use in the journal. Little dangle there. Look at how pretty this is. I mean, like, okay, so this is a pocket. Oh my, look at that, guys. It snaps off. It's a pocket. How cool is that? And it says Levi's. I like this is so creative. Okay, so she's calling it Blue Dreams Denim and Lace. Six by nine, 80 pages. And I think it's um probably 80 pages my guess is it's 160 sides I'm not sure I just write down what they they actually say because I can't count them all butterfly die cut flip out looks like there's some calligraphy pages look at how pretty that is bits and pieces there's music paper butterfly stamping says be happy be bright be you beautiful one of those bags that I love she must have a cut file or a die for that bag because I've seen it and I really like it look at how pretty so I'm pretty sure that this is the outline of like the die cut that was here at the beginning um, see but then she just put paper behind it so you're not wasting anything and it's so beautiful. So this one is definitely a blue theme. The other one's a purple theme. I should have time in this video to do one more box of journals from someone else as well. The boxes are piling up, which is a good thing but I know that everybody's waiting to see them. Everyone's waiting to get their money. So get done what I can. I love those butterfly tags or journal cards. So there's that one. That is just incredibly ingenious. I'm gonna put that bag in there as part of the journal so it doesn't get separated. All right, and then I'm gonna just snap that. And then it's all nice and closed and stuff's not going to fall out. So beautiful. Those are from Vicki. There's nothing else in the box that she sent. So I'm going to pause this and grab another box. Okay, so I have a box from Vilma Kolstad or VCK. As you guys know, we're in the marketplace. She sold several journals in the marketplace. And she sent one here. And I believe this, yeah, this is a glue book, which... Junk journal, glue book, you know, it, they're just names. All right. Here, imperfection is perfect. Glue book. This is huge. 10 by 7, 3 inch spine, 266 pages. It is a, a glue book is a type of a visual journal where you mostly journal and pictures, photos, collage, just glue in your own treasures and memories. So that's something that's kind of becoming popular right now. Of course, there's no rules. You could write in it if you wanted to, but the intention of a glue book is just to glue the things that you love, the magazine clippings, the book pages, the advertising that you like. So that's what she has here on the front. It is huge. It's meant to expand because as you glue and glue and glue and glue, this is going to expand like that. All right, let's look at what she's got in here. So she has it started for you. Got fabric reinforced here. 
And so she has a few things that are already like tucked in here that you can glue. She has a variety of pages. And like, for me, I don't really like modern pictures of people I don't know, but it's a glue book. So you take something like, you know, my images here and you glue that on and you glue and you make your own collage. It's a great way to recycle, to use up stuff that's laying around and turn it. So she just has all sorts of little bits and pieces that you can use for gluing, layering, and collaging. One thing I think is super, super helpful with a personal glue book is there's no right or wrong. This is where you get to experiment, especially if you're making junk journals and selling junk journals or wanting to sell junk journals. This is a great place to practice your collage techniques because when I started out, my collaging, my techniques were pretty bad. I mean, they were not that pretty to look at. But the more that I did it, the more that it kind of just all came together. And the more I collage, the more I love it. And the more I like the way it looks. So this is a big book. So I'm going fast and not showing every page. I just want to give you an idea of um, what this, there's little bits and pieces in there as well. It would just be so much fun to sit down, you know, at the table in front of the TV, put on your favorite show or your favorite YouTube video and have a glue stick or a couple glue sticks and just a stack of um, scraps and papers and see what you can come up with and what you can make and what you can do. I started watching a video this morning from the paper addiction and it was, she was um, using up her scraps and gluing them into a glue book that she had made for herself. And so I think that's absolutely wonderful. So there's just all these different types of pages and bags and everything else that you can just totally make your own. So this is a glue book from VKC from Vilma. And I am going to let that be the video for today. I don't want to make it too long. The internet is bad today. We're supposed to be getting so much rain this week. And there's flood warnings and everything. We should be fine, but um, some of the roads might be impassable. And that always affects our internet. I have bad internet to start with. And if I do much longer a video, it will not get uploaded today. So, And I have a lot of orders to fill today as well. So I will see you all with another video probably tomorrow with more marketplace journals since I've got to get these listed. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.